artifacts often represent something, not exactly what they are. The amazing world of computer graphics. If anyone has seen the movies The Incredibles, The Polar Express shown at Christmas time on television, the last two Star Wars movies, two of the Star Trek movies, any kind of computer graphics, you can pretty much trace the origins back to three-dimensional graphics work done on something called the Utah Teapot at the University of Utah in 1974 and years beyond that. When you start a modeling project and they had a three-dimensional computer graphics modeling project, you need something to model. They used a teapot. And out of the work done on that teapot, came the kind of computer graphics that make up much of our world today. Whether you go to the dentist, whether you're an airline pilot in training, whether you're an engineer from a railroad in training, all of the computer graphics pervades our world today. Even the games can be pretty much traced back to that teapot. When you combine that kind of work with color, and you think about the first really successful commercial color program was on the Apple II, something called Super Paint. And you combine the idea of computer graphics and color, and you have much of the world we see today. We even have color and we have computer generated art. Here is a large still life on the wall behind us. This is a still life. It's as good as many artists could do. But let's be honest, it's not as good as most artists can do. It was painted by a computer program called the Aaron Paint System by a Dr. Harold Cohen in San Diego, California. This particular painting represents the output of something called a rule-based system, which in 1995, the date of this picture was over 100,000 lines of something called LISP code. Today, it's over 300,000 lines of code. A Pixar computer, now called Pixar Disney, they built their own computers in early days in order to do their amazing graphics. It looks like a big gray box, but it's what you do with it that makes it so exciting and so interesting. Three minutes. Mona Lisa. This was one of what's called a high-speed impact printer. Not graphics in a conventional format, but certainly a graphics output from what was a standard printer in the 1970s, 80s, and early 90s.